Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports. I did an unboxing video on this Envy gravel bar, gravel handlebar, and I thought I would take a few minutes just to show you what it looks like now that it's installed on a bike. Now this particular bar was the smallest bar they make and it's a 42. So I know that in the road world, we're always trying to get narrower and narrower bars. Uh, I'm not, but I mean, that's the trend. I, I like my 42, 44 bars, even though I'm pretty narrow, narrow in the shoulders. But so this bar is supposed to be about 42 center to center. So you can probably see that there but it's 54 <laughs> at the flare or at the, at the drops when you include the flare. Now, someone commented, because there's always one, someone commented that I should have called out the fact that it's a 12 degree flare. I didn't really want to because how does someone measure 12 degrees looking at this, right? So. I specifically gave what the measurement was 42 to 40 or 42 center to center and then 54 at the drops center to center because that's something tangible that's something someone can actually measure or put their arms on like let's say a, a yardstick of some sort and be like oh well if I'm in the drops my hands will be in this position so to that heckler who said, I forgot to mention the 12 degree flare. That's why I did not mention it. I don't typically like to mention things that are abstract or things that people cannot tangibly uh, get some perspective from. Uh, let's say an unboxing or even if, if it's a, a complete bike profile. Now, this particular bar, one of the things that well, not this particular bar, but I should say in Envy's situation, I've never really liked the way they do the end here. And what they do is they have like this rubber piece. So you don't have an actual bar plug. So they're thinking, okay, you don't have a bar plug. So, you know, this is nice and neat. You don't have bar plugs that keep falling out and then your, your tape, this or that. But, you know, especially if you're with the DI, older DI2, you had your junction box that was inside your bar plug. So how many of you are running DI2 with an Envy bar and you couldn't put your, your junction into your bar plug? So you had to find another place for it. So that's one thing. The other is when I wrap bar tape, I like to start here and terminate here and then push a bar plug in it to hold it. So I can't wrap the bars that way. I have to wrap it the, um, the more, I guess, traditional way, which I can't stand. I do not like to wrap the bars in this direction, terminating here and then having to use electrical tape to terminate it. So. It kind of cramps my style that they have these uh, plugs here, or I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, but that's one. That's just a, a minor thing for for many folks. It's not even going to be a consideration. But I mean, just look at how far your hand position is going to move from the tops, the hoods, and then you're going to be flared out quite a bit here to get into the drops at that at that 50 in this case a 54 52 whatever it was I, I apologize I forgot but they also I mean <laughs> they've got a 48 bar so they go 42 44 46 48 and I believe down here at the drops it's like 64 centimeters I, I mean that's just huge but, you know, that's, uh, that's gravel for you. So, uh, but 
anyway, this is customer, really uh, dear friend of mine, and she uh, wants to get back out and has had a you know little a little time off, so now she wants to get back on the bike, and uh, we also did a brake bleed on this bike. The rear brake was just not working right. Not to mention the uh, brake pad was worn quite significantly. So anyway, that's the that's the Envy bar installed. So that's a side view now. And then we're going to do a front view. of the Envy bar and one thing that uh, you know just a completely uh, mechanical thing one thing I noticed on the the bar that came off um, it didn't have any of the assembly paste on there carbon assembly paste so uh, I just I just wonder sometimes these mechanics that are I don't know if they're cutting corners or if they just are not aware that carbon uh, carbon handlebars carbon seat posts carbon stems these kinds of things should have that assembly paste to to ensure that you get a good tight fit without having to over torque a handlebar or a seat post or a, or a stem so there you go the Envy G Series or Gravel handlebar. One last shot of it right there. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Uh, coming up, today is Tuesday afternoon, so tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, Jessica and I should be doing a, another rev show tomorrow. So, you know, stay tuned like and subscribe hit that notification bell so that you know when we've posted new videos all right thank you so much we'll see you up the road